Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be reviewing the new number no. 7 Hydro Luminous Foundation and Concealer. I think they both have the same name. I'm really excited about this because I haven't used number no. 7 in a really, really long time. I used to use it a lot when I first started my channel, but I'm not too fond of most of their products. I've heard their skincare is really good. My mum uses their skincare a lot. But their makeup wasn't that great, but I knew I loved their, like, one of their foundations. But when I saw this, Hydro Luminous, I mean, that is just attracting to me because I have super dry skin, flaky around my nose, forehead sometimes. So Hydra Luminous is like to a mix of words that just, is just appealing to me. Before we jump into the video, let's do a post notification shout out. Yeah, shall we? So I think today's one's gonna go to Lavisa Ali. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below, or you can just leave a nice comment. My nose is super blocked. I've got the worst sore throat right now. It's the third time I've been sick in the like past three months, and it's just, it's just like what's wrong with my immune system like <sighs> so yeah i have the foundation and the concealer right here i just really like the packaging it really reminds me of like the l'oreal infallible glow foundation so i bought the foundation for 15 pounds which i think is more on the higher end of like drugstore makeup because even l'oreal infallible um glow foundation is a bit cheap on amazon i believe and then we got the number no. seven hydroluminous dark circle concealer for 14 pounds there's not as many good reviews on boots this is like a boots brand number no. seven so like there's a lot of good found reviews on the foundation but for the concealer i'm a bit worried there i'm a bit worried now i have the shade deeply honey is what i got shade match to and they do have a cool shade matching system but now let's talk about shades from what I can tell on the website, this is their darkest colour, which is my colour, and we all know that ain't true. Their shade range is appalling, shambles, disappointing, I can't think of another like cool bad word. But they only got 12 shades in the foundation, doesn't even cater to deep, deeper skin tones whatsoever, or even richer tan skin tones like nc44 i i feel like this is even like for me and i'm not sure but there's poor medium shades and there's quite a lot of pinky pale shades so that is really disappointing i mean like they need to step up their game on this because you know in 2019 i know everyone says this but you know the tart shaped tape days we left it last year you guys know i'm all for like a good shade range i mean who isn't who isn't but I can't believe like they came out with found it says foundation you need to cater to everyone I mean unless their the goal is not to I don't know let me know what you think in the comments below so I'm gonna give it a good shake hmm I don't know if I can review this. I might need to take this off. I'm going out in a bit. This looks grey green. Who is grey? Is it me? Sometimes I question myself. Maybe this will oxidise, I'm hoping. Oh, oh maybe I'll oh, maybe I'll talk to Let me not just say anything. The last thing I want is to be looking great. <sighs> okay, it's not bad. It kind of like adjusts to your your skin. It does say it gives visibly fresh and radiant looking skin in an instant. Even better looking bare skin over time. This moisturizing foundation gives a flawless natural finish and a healthy all day glow. Where every day and over time the skin looks fresher, healthier and more luminous. So it's going to have long term effects apparently. Skin loving ing ingredients include an active blend of antioxidants, vitamin A, C and E together with grapeseed oil to moisturize. That all sounds good. 
90% said that bare skin looked healthier after four weeks. 90% said their skin felt moisturized after four weeks. And 84 said bare skin looked brighter. Suitable for sensitive skin, it says shake well before use, blend on smoothly and evenly with your finger, sponge or brush. I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, this is looking so grey, but now it's okay. I'm scared, I need to go look outside first. Let's move on to the concealer. Now the concealer I got in 7.5, which is, there's kind of like a reference in on the, on the Boots website, so it says 7.5 is good for deeply honey shade. So I got that and it's a darker shade, which is unacceptable. <laughs> um, 14 pounds, I think it's a bit pushing it and I'm, I'm gonna see if this is good and if it's gonna crease. I don't know if I wanna sell it though. So it says it's a hydroluminous dark circle concealer. Gives radiant skin, instantly concealing signs of tightness and dark circles. This full coverage cream concealer is easy to blend and won't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. It feels cushiony and comfortable and gives an all day moisture. Suitable for sensitive skin. So I got some of the product out like so, and the shade doesn't look too bad. This is a swatch. It's literally the same shade as my skin. I should have maybe gone with a lighter shade. I feel like I'm using a lot of product. I'm just gonna get my sponge. I wouldn't say it's full coverage at all. The shade is okay, it's not my favourite, like it needs to be a little bit lighter, but I'm going to see how I get on with this. If I do like it, maybe my eyes are burning. Why are my eyes burning? Maybe I will get a lighter one. It blended really easily though. Very glowy. I might set with a little bit powder to be honest. I do have to say my skin's really, really liking this. Like just the moisture, everything, like it's so nice on the skin. And it really adapted to my skin tone. Like at first it looked really grey. But anyways, I'm gonna just quickly finish the makeup my makeup. I'm gonna do something quite natural. And yeah, I'm gonna see how this lasts on. Oh, I see a little bit of smile lines though. But anyways, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. I am going for a really natural look today, but I'm really I just love this kind of look. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, so far I'm liking everything, like the concealer like did brighten a little bit to be honest, especially when I put the bronzer, it really made that contrast. The foundation is looking okay around my skin, my mouth, a little bit ashy around this area because I've got a little bit of darkness. Um, but it really did adapt to my skin tone, it's a very like glowy foundation. Fresh radiant skin, like yeah, this looks like my skin but better, very moisturising. Luminous, I mean they all mean the same thing, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> and then the concealer, I wouldn't say it's full coverage, I would say maybe medium coverage. This is not full coverage. Tarte Shade Tape is full coverage. The Revolution Conceal and Define is full coverage. The L'Oreal Infallible Concealer is full coverage. This is like more medium. It's very like thin as well, which is good. It's it does it says that um it feels cushiony and comfortable, which is true. Definitely agree with that. Um, but I don't agree with the full coverage. I have to check with the settling and fine lines. But I found like the sponge really hard. That wasn't helpful. And I felt like it absorbed a lot of the product. Um, but yeah, it does still have that luminousness to it as well. But that definitely made me want to set it with powder, which I did. And I did brush a little bit of powder all over my face and that's it, put bronzer blush and I think that's what I did, mascara. So we're gonna wear this for the rest of the day. It's now 8.33, I'm up so early every day now. And yeah, we're gonna see how this holds up. So far I really like it. I really like the way my skin looks. I checked out sight in daylight, it looks really, really nice. Um, even about, around my mouth area, it's fine. It just adjusted. When I was blending, it was looking a little ashy. Just before I go, a little close up. Got massive cheeks. 
I'm gonna stop blabbering. I'll see you guys later on. All right, guys, it's now 4.45 p.m. I think I've had this foundation around eight to nine hours, maybe. I actually can't be able to do the math in my head. I've been out, ate quite a lot of food. Blew my nose quite a few times because my nose is literally killing me. And here we are with this face. Why do I have glitter on my face? And to be honest, I'm so happy with this. I would not, I did not think it was gonna go this well, but I love everything about the foundation, the concealer. The concealer is a bit lighter than my skin, but definitely not full coverage. I could even say light to medium coverage. I don't think it's full coverage or even medium. I mean, every product creases, but this one you can't tell that it's creased any or anything like that. Um, if I pull my face, you can see slight creasing, but I'm quite impressed with that because it's not that bad. The product itself is quite thin, so maybe that kind of helps it from creasing. It's super lightweight and you just it doesn't even feel like you're wearing makeup. It's super nice and glowy. It evens out the skin. I mean, it has come off my nose obviously because I have I blew my nose quite a few times today. Let me look up close. Yeah, I thought the foundation would fade, but it's still on. And even the smile lines, I've got like one here, but it's not even that bad. Like this is quite minimal. And this is just perfect for every day. I'm gonna wear the hell out of this during summer. It's super glowy, just bear that in mind. So maybe if you wanna like cover up stuff on your skin, like blemishes or pigmentation or if you have super oily skin this foundation probably is not for you if again if you I don't think dark circle goes well with the concealer because it's not full enough coverage and they don't have enough shades to call it a dark circle concealer like it's just what is it called actually <laughs> dark circle concealer like I don't agree with that so and then the biggest thing that I'm not impressed about is the shade range. It's awful and they definitely need to improve on that. I think the quality of the products are really good and the pricing kind of fits. Especially if the foundation is going to help my skin over time, which I'll probably keep you guys updated maybe after a month. Obviously, I change my foundations quite a lot. So we'll see if I do see that it really makes a difference. I don't know. But oh, and by the way, this foundation doesn't transfer which is also a plus. I don't know, I really love this. I also did take a picture outside in the sun and it just looks so beautiful. I'll pop it here. And it's just such a nice luminous product that looks like your skin, but it, it isn't, I don't know. And it's not like, the foundation I'll probably say is like light to medium coverage, borderline medium coverage. So yeah, like I said, if you do have pigmentation or blemishes that you do wanna cover up, whether that's under your eyes, such as dark circles or on your skin, these products probably might not be for you. I don't think they give enough coverage. I don't think they provide enough shades to be able to do that for all complexions. But the product itself, if you can find a good shade match for you, and if you have, um, if you just want a natural finish, I'm gonna sneeze, Woo! I feel like when I sneeze, it takes so much energy from me. But yes, like I was saying, if you want something that's natural for every day, just to even out your skin and give a nice glow, which is so up my alley, this would be for you. Do I look sick, guys? Like, do I really? My nose is so annoying. Now, in terms of packaging, I really like the foundation. Like, it's just convenient. I just do, like, two swipes, blend it all. Now, with the concealer, the sponge is so... so... unconvenient. Is that a word? It absorbs a lot of the product. It's super hard, it's super uncomfortable to apply the product. It's not like Maybelline Age Rewind. It's just, I don't even know why it's there. I'd rather even prefer that they just had it in a tube or something, because this is so, I don't know. I didn't like, I do not like the sponge, but the product is good. I'm quite happy with my under eyes. Like I just have hollow under eyes that gives a little bit of darkness and I have only slight darkness under my eyes. If you have quite a lot of pigmentation, this is definitely not a product that I would recommend. Like my auntie has quite dark under eye circles, like very dark. This is definitely not a product I would put on her for sure. I think 14 pounds for the concealer. I don't know, like it's a bit overpriced in my opinion, but I'm quite happy with the two and I don't regret buying them because I see myself using these two products a lot but I think I'm also lucky that I have a shade for myself. 
I'm gonna rate the foundation a good 8.5 out of 10 but I hate the fact that they only got those shades but the product itself is so good and then the concealer like I don't love it as much as the foundation but it works together and I'm quite happy with the way my face look like you know when you just so feel so naturally like beautiful you know, it's, there's nothing wrong with feeling like that. Yeah, I don't know, I just really like the way my skin looked today and these two go really well together, but I probably would rate the concealer like a 6.5 out of 10. I really didn't like the um, sponge applicator. It's slightly overpriced in my opinion. It's not that much coverage, definitely not full. And the shade range is crap, so 6.5 out of 10, but I definitely recommend the foundation above all. I don't know, let me know. This has been out for like, I don't know, a week now. I don't know when it got it was released, but let me know what you think if you have tried it. And would I recommend it to you guys? I think based on what I said, yes, if you can find a shade. But the foundation especially. If you want to get the concealer, get it. There's better ones out there that are much more affordable. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments below and what products you want me to review. Write them down. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.